The controversy surrounding anthem kneeling has been a hot-button issue since Colin Kaepernick started it all. It did not help when he became a liberal activist working on social justice issues. However, a recent development regarding his background has thrown a wrench in those liberal ideas he has been propagating. Life Site News reported, Colin Kaepernick was adopted. How can he support abortion? September 10, 2018, Radiance Foundation, What Does It Mean to Sacrifice Everything? Apparently, to a benched former NFL player and multimillionaire, it means another multimillion dollar Nike endorsement deal. Wow. That's some real suffering. I'm all about people exercising their First Amendment rights. I'm all about people fighting injustice. I'm all about celebrities using their expansive platforms to raise awareness about social issues. But if none of it is rooted in the truth, it is, itself, an injustice. And that's, tragically, what Colin Kaepernick is spreading. It's not just his promotion of the fundamentally dishonest and racially divisive hashtag Black Lives Matter movement or his financial support of an organization that celebrates cop killer and FBI's most wanted Joanne Deborah Chesimard, a.k.a. Asada Shakur. It's his bewildering and ironic support of a violent act of injustice that he, as an adoptee, like me, escaped. Kaepernick helps fund radical abortion activism. He directly donated $25,000 to the extreme pro-abortion group, Center for Reproductive Rights. This is the outfit that celebrated the 40th anniversary of Roe v. Wade with a bizarre sexualized tribute to the millions killed by abortion, called, Happy 40th Anniversary, Baby. Kaepernick also gave $25,000 to the Lower East Side Girls Club with nearly $8,000 earmarked for travel to Detroit's version of the radical pro-abortion Women's March and for young girls to go to the pro-porn, anti-science Teen Vogue Summit. Just in case you haven't picked up Teen Vogue lately, the soft porn mag heavily promotes abortion, planned parenthood and anal sex to teens. So, this all puts a whole different spin on, just do it. Although Kaepernick has poured his money and his time into noble causes over the years, especially those helping kids, his most recent million-dollar donation pledge didn't give a dime to adoption advocacy organizations. He didn't help fund any fatherhood initiatives. Fatherlessness is the primary causal factor in so many of the negative outcomes such as increased crime, violence, incarceration rates, drug usage, school dropout rates, abuse and neglect in urban areas, not racism. The millions that Kaepernick makes from an endorsement deal trickle down into his radical political advocacy on Twitter, Instagram, and now through the massive media coverage of Nike's new ad. The new viral video is actually quite beautiful. Coming from a family of 15, that included siblings with special needs who defied others' low expectations, I love seeing moments of human triumph. They're always worth illuminating. The ad is mostly inclusive, it does portray only one religion, of course, Islam. A Muslim female athlete is prominently featured, but it seems obvious that Nike has its new hijabs to sell. Love when American corporations talk about fighting injustice globally, but they have no problem selling their products in oppressive regimes whether Muslim or communist, like Saudi Arabia and China, where corporate social justice rhetoric remains conveniently silent. 